In the last episode, we finally were able to catch up to the last noble person of the Sturgia, after which we put him into forever sleep and we fully wiped out Sturgia off the map of this world. Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of Timur the Destroyer. We are nearing the end of the series. There's still probably a couple episodes left, but we only have one enemy left, Britannia. As before they got, as you can see, five clans. And um, their total clan strength is 13. They got two since the last time. Well, since the last... Not much before. But, um, you know, it's time for us to fight them. For us to fight this menace. Ten enemy lords and ladies will be captured this battle and put into forever sleep. Will we be able to do it? Maybe. Ah, who am I kidding? You all know I'm going to be able to do it. Come on. We're doing great. Yes, we only have 182 troops. We're going to space our ranks to like three or four. And unfortunately for us, the enemy is Britannia, and they really, really love archers. They have the noble unit, uh, Britannian Fians. So, so, why do they get up here so fast? There's 106 of the enemy cavalry. They're gonna smash into our ranks. As you can see. And we're gonna do our damn hardest to have zero to. Never mind, not gonna be zero. Oh, we're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna try to have as little to, uh, to no casualties. Now, casualty part has failed. There we go. We got of their um, dang. Bring the troops forward. Bring forth to like right here. Ooh, that was a not a nice uh, maneuver by the enemy. Ooh, smack, uh, Maris. Oh, daddy. Damn. I lost the con guard. And unfortunately, we may lose more and more just because of... Um, oh. They're pretty heavy into cavalry. Uh, not cavalry, sorry. They're pretty heavy into... Uh, uh, archers. And as you can see, they are getting some more troops. Back up, my people. Damn, we're down two. Two Kuzai Kongard. And one Thorgood. We have three total casualties. Let's back up a little more. There we go. Oh, did not realize that this dude was here. And as you can see, ooh, we got hurt. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go, that's what I like to see. Maybe not be in the tree. There we go. We want to get rid of this two-handed dude. The reason why we want to get rid of them because they're the ones that hurt the most. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, 
Ah, I mean, we're down eight, eight men. No, don't shoot my my people. You know what? We're going in. We're down nine troops. God damn. I mean, the troops they're getting now are just um, what you call it, peasants for the most part. But we probably will lose a few more. That's unfortunate. But every troop of the enemy that we personally get rid is that much better. Will help us lose less and less. We're down to 11, 11 kill or deaths, and um, like 30, uh, which we call wounded. And we're still getting more. So it's not ideal. You know? Obviously, it's also not ideal for us to take risks. But. We must do what we can to protect our warriors. 11 dead, 35 injured. This was. This was one of the slightly more bloodier battles in the recent time. Just because of, well, as you can see, we, we suffered not tremendous loss, but we also did not have, you know, our full strength. If it did, it might have been a little better. All my troops are turning. There's four enemies. Um, can I find them? I don't think I'm gonna bother. Okay, we got 104 renown. Let's look at my people. Yatu did a good. Alta did okay, almost. Akadan did not bad, and I ran into a tree. Of course, you know my luck. Vivian is or Vivian got a horse uh, riding skill upgrade. So yeah, um, this was not easy, just because, as you can see, enemy had decent success with fighting us. So we. Um, we lost quite a few members of the of the party and we took took a bit of a beating but that's okay and here's why because of how many enemies were able to capture um there we go take that we captured 10 of the battalion ability yes it might not uh what you call it get rid of their houses or their clans but what I will get rid of is one of the better commanders, better the better party leaders, which when they get the reinforcements from their like you know other clan members and stuff, or the house members, whatever you want to call it, it will be less and less uh, effective because those commanders won't be as good as this ones because well those ones are not uh, had time to prove themselves in battle like. Like this ones. So getting rid of their ten lords was worth it. As you can see, all of them are still here. We will be besieged, probably at Roto. That is the closest turf that I could think that would be under attack. Maybe Sonopa? But Roro is the closest. I highly doubt they'll go anywhere over here. But they could. There's nothing that's stopping them. You know what I mean? Nothing. Um, Trying to Nidion. Trying to hurt Toga. Okay, perfect. We're gonna grab 
two more uh, lords, Carfood and Kanar, getting rid of that 148 man army even faster. Why is it good now? Well, because those troops won't be part of the army and those um, party leaders won't be uh, captains or commanders in the army, which mean the the reinforcements will be there so those will not be as good plus I mean, we will we'll be fighting our full strength Forward! you can see uh, oh no 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 I was about to say please don't tell me we're fighting close to a village or something that would be a little upsetting Get out of here, Britannian scout. Get out of here. Bring my feet. My feet. What? Bring my people forward and unleash a devastating volley of pure carnage on my enemy. They also have. Why do they have Azurite? I am so lost on why do they have um, like Azurite and such over here. I mean, I see why Kanar is part of the clan that would employ. Um, Azrai, so Enough. maybe that's why, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Ooh, that's. I mean, there you go. I mean, that's cool armor, but that's kind of me. So now with that, uh, forever sleep two people we have officially put 12 of the lords and ladies into forever sleep of uh batania which is not bad what we are looking for is um well their big army yes it might not be as good for us fighting well uh, a huge enemy or enemy party army um but it will be because it's um it will allow us to get many more lords and ladies captured than before or than normally you know going one by one and trying to get them that way we can you know get more battalion troops out of the way Uh, Alti. No. Can't wait till the update uh, drops for the console. Cause I would love to see like the new updated stuff that they have done. Ooh, they're in jail. I want to hurt Toga. He's by himself. I am not gonna fight him myself. Damn, come on, catch up. There we go. What? They're in jail and angle. What I will do is I'll just send my troops. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say yes, I may lose one, but it's it's okay. And I'm gonna get rid of it that way. Um, just so we can get a few more. Um people to be ranked up from Kashyyyk up to um, uh, Kongard. Uh, where is the enemy army? <coughs> Excuse me. There's There was Davalon over here. 
Davalon is part of over here. So both Junjad and Davalon are part of this um, one clan. So getting rid of well, both of them would be pretty nice. And yes, I could just not fight by sending my troops. Yes, it would technically um, allow more of my people to allow me have higher chances of having no one die. But there's just that would take way, way too long. And honestly, I am not willing to spend like 20 minutes out of 30 minute episode fighting five small packs of enemy. What I'm trying to do is waiting out for um, this one. Larnock. Oh, they're probably by Provent. Oh, I have to go there. I done they goofed up. I hope they don't take Provent. I really, really hope. Because if they don't, I could help them. Um, Ito's clan declared. Another clan declared war. A couple more clans declared war on Batania, which is nice. You know, they'll have to fight them, which don't think will do much help in my situation. But ooh. Um, give me Edwin. Peace to you. I'll give you money. Two one you seven hundred. Sell us. Edwin, I didn't know I have to fight you. Take some nice nap time. I have him. Here. Okay, in 381, oh, I can see. Yeah. So we want to wait out until the province almost fell. That way we can swoop in. Actually, no, we'll wait till it has fallen. That way we can swoop in. And, uh, oh. Grab as many. Oh. Timion clan Fen Morkar. Hold up one sec. Fen Morkar. Oh. Uh, so we can swoop in when they are, you know, fully as battered as possible. That way we won't have to fight as many, and those losses will not go into. Um, not necessarily losses, but um, Ooh. those troops will not go into um, which one call it? God dang, I'm sorry, I'm having a bit of a brain fart. We'll not go into the dungeons over here at Provent. Damn. I mean, they'll take it. There. Oh, yeah. That's what I kind of wanted. We'll fight to our last blood. That is 5, 10, 15, 16 lords and ladies totaling an army of 528 fighting just myself and 315 other men and women of my party. It's literally 528 versus 316. And they have 16 lords. So, this was definitely worth the wait. We will be able to capture a few more than uh, I originally thought. 
which is massive for us. The more enemies we capture, the better. So this will not slow us down. Um, okay, I don't... Okay. Okay, fam. You got spanked. Get your freaking shock infantry upon out of my face. Okay, so right there. Insane. You're not insane. There we go. We will try to get rid of as many as random looks as possible while still keeping a decent battle formation. Their uh, backline units, as you can see, have been hurling some uh, not very nice things at me, as you can see. Not very nice. Bad Babatanians. Ow. Hey, yo, chill with throwing that stuff. Like, fam. Like, you don't see me throwing goddamn uh, javelins or anything at you. I'm only throwing the freaking arrows. I don't even throwing, I'm just shooting arrows at your archers in the back. Okay, that was a... That was a bit wrong. Dang, they got a lot of Mamluks. Uh, reposition up on the hill. No, there we go. The enemy is legit. Why am I missing? Right behind me. So, <laughs> that's a Congo line <laughs> that was just after me. That's beautiful. They still have a hundred men. Yes, the infantry sucks right there. Oh, that's what. I was like, what's right behind me? Um, go back. Forward. There we go. I mean, yeah, nah, we're going in. We going in. I will lose some people. Yes, it will be inevitable. But we will be fine. As I've just shown, we will be fine. Is Well, we are one resilient bunch of men and women. God dang. Let me fight this dude. This dude has been bullet. You know what? I'm done. I was about to say, this dude has been bullying me for a little bit, but. Damn, this Azurai thought he was gonna get something. Same with that improvement. Now we have all.
how is our losses? One injured so far. I'm quite surprised by that. Because of, uh, I mean, maybe because of mobility of our troops and just how awesomely tough we are. We have managed to nearly fully wipe this army out, the enemy. Which, if we do, that's just honestly unbelievably massive for us. Just unbelievably massive. God dang. Yeah, as you can see, they're down to like less than 40 men. And it's going down with each and passing second. They might have some people who managed to escape. But that's okay. As you can see, 22 escape. We got 95 renown, which is kind of surprising because we slaughtered that army. Or maybe not slaughtered them all, but that was a lot of enemies. Like 500? And that we, we killed or injured and we capturing um, 16 lords and ladies. I literally have no use for any of these people. So everybody be free unless you're lord or lady. Damn, that could be good. Maybe Vane. I've been rocking kind of dookie stuff. You put that on. Uh, no soon. No, idea. No, uh, Alti. You're rocking pretty good. I love the Great Falcon. I think he's rocking decent stuff. So we're gonna take all of it. Yes, we technically slightly over the <coughs> excuse me weight limit, but that's fine. What we are gonna do is we're gonna quickly and modestly. Uh, I'll level up our Nosun archery. And he has nothing like that. Um, I guess we'll give you this. And I guess this. Now we'll get to do an honor of uh, putting 16 lords and ladies to sleep. So let's do that real quick. And then we'll be done. Oh, with this army. Not sure if we're gonna do like a full clan wipe, which would be pretty good if we would. If we well, not if we would. If we could, maybe. But I'm not too sure. I am not. Oh, Galadog was here. Well, he was. I like that helmet. The new ruler is Munzer. Dang it! I don't have him here. Kinda sucks. Kinda wanted to see if he was here, you know, go through a bunch of uh, clan leaders. But, it was not meant to be. Dang, we're down to five? Well, less than five now. Prisoners, and uh, yeah, no clan wipes yet. Kinda... Not too bad. We're also a little scary. And then I'm gonna get one while he... No, wow. No clan wipes? Damn. Timion has three. Karid has two. Bilya has two. Davalon has one. Enric has two. This is... Uh, three. Actually, no, wait. I've seen before. Uh, so three here. One, two, two, three technically, right? Yeah. So three here. A nine go. Just one. Dang. Pendriac, we have one, two, three. Four. 
five. Um, yeah, five. Add ten pen reacts. So you can see, like, you can go, like, yes, it will take you. But if you don't see any, like, born, that's fine. But as soon as you see, uh, like, here, born, 1084, you're good. Unless it's been 18 years. So, with that said, as you can see, we started to wipe the Batanian members pretty heavy. I believe, so far, we 16, 18, with, I think, another... So we destroyed 23 to 25, maybe a little more enemy uh, noble, noblemen and noblewoman, which puts us in a lot better state than if we're not able to uh, well, fight him as easy. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for everyone for being here. Thank you for watching to the end. And again, don't forget, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.